All right, thanks, Greg. We're going to go back now to Lachlan McNeil, a resident of Christ Church, New Zealand, where they had the 6.3 earthquake and devastation there. Uh, good morning, Lachlan. How are you? Yes, good morning. It's uh, very early. It's one o'clock our morning. Yes, good morning. And when I'm I ask you, and when I ask you how you're doing, I mean that quite literally. You and your family are okay. We're okay. The power just came on probably about oh, less than an hour ago, um, and it's it's been pretty hard. But all my family are all good, um, it, uh, but, and we've survived, so we're feeling pretty happy. How far are you from the center of Christ Church? Oh, uh, about half an hour's walk, so uh, really quite quite so about ten, maybe five or ten minutes drive. Okay, so tell me where you were, what you were doing, and what you experienced when this happened. Okay, uh, well, Christchurch is surrounded by four avenues, and I was driving on one of these pretty much close to, very close to the centre. I drove past a, a polytechnic, a technical college, and I was in the lane almost close to the foot, to the sidewalk, and uh, the building started to collapse into the sidewalk ahead of the car, and I had to swerve around to, to across two lanes just to avoid um, basically getting damaged. And as I did, I reached an intersection. I looked to the left, and we have a, a large Catholic cathedral about maybe um, 100 yards down the way, and it had a big dome, and the whole thing had just collapsed that instantly into, uh, down in front and crushed cars and spread right across um, about three lanes uh, in front of it. Um, uh, that was quite something. Uh, I then looked to the right, and there was a football stadium which is being prepared for the New Zealand World Cup. Uh, and a brand new stadium being put on one side. The whole roof had collapsed down. And in front of me, the road was, was rising up. And I don't mean subtly, I mean uh, like a trampoline, like you're jumping on a trampoline. Um, that was quite something. Uh, it, it was pretty terrifying, actually. The road was just swerving left and right, left and right. Um, I don't know if you can imagine if uh, maybe, a, I don't know, a bull had, uh, was pushing it from one side as hard as it possibly could. That's what it felt like. Have you ever experienced anything like that? Well, we've had small ones. I mean, I've had small ones that feels like a couple of people pushed the car or it's very, very windy, but this was nothing like this. It was, you know, you could, there's no way you could stand outside. Reports are still coming in, the 6.3 magnitude earthquake. Reports just as you've been sharing with us, uh, Lachlan, of collapsed buildings, uh, streets that are cracked, multiple fatalities, two buses being crushed by falling buildings, people trapped still on high rises. Mm -hmm. When you were there in the aftermath and you knew that you were okay, what did you do at that point when the shaking well, stopped? Well, the first thing I did was I was driving home to meet my wife who had, has had a, an accident. She was coming home from the hospital for her first day visit um, to home. And um, and I had to also meet my daughter. I knew my daughter was at home. I I texted her before I hopped in the car. She said she uh, she said I'm home. And I said I'll just be there in a minute. As soon as I the accident happened, I just pressed the go button and I went straight home. Are all your friends and family accounted for right now? Yes, my family. Luckily, my parents are staying with me, and so my parents are staying with me now, and and my daughter. And the only one that was missing was my youngest daughter, uh, Lucy, who is sitting next to me here now. So we had to go down to the school and just find her. They had to check her out of school. Uh, and no, every everyone I know is okay. I feel the, like the luckiest man alive because the buildings that I. Uh, work in were fine, but the building I would have been in having a, a, my lunch at that time, because it was about say, about 10 to 1 in the afternoon, um, it, that just collapsed. Wow. That mm. must have been an incredible experience. The Prime Minister is calling this the darkest day in New Zealand yeah. history. It's it's pretty serious, and, and it's, it's just coming back to me now. Because of power, I've just looked at the, at the photographs on, on the internet, and it's just it's just huge. It is huge, um, and uh, it's I've been I'm a recruiter, and I've been recruiting for project managers and engineers for the earthquake we had in September the fourth, which was a seven point one. I can tell you the devastation in this one is multiples of the effect on the previous one. Although the magnitude is not as great, it was much shallower. It was five kilometres deep. You know that's three miles deep as opposed to before the London one was about 20. There was about, it was, that was, uh, once they work out it, uh, about 12 miles deep. So it's, it's four times closer to us and it's very close across the way as well. So the, the actual effect is, is much greater.
So what are your plans now? You obviously are not able to return to your work now. Uh, what's yeah. the word that's being given to citizens as far as the next steps at this point? Okay, just they say look after your family, look after your neighbors, and that's what we've done. We've we looked after our neighbors. I had to break the door down for my neighbor because her door was jammed and wouldn't unlock. Uh, we have elderly neighbors on one side, I've been looking after them, and they, they what they have is they have some very good professionals helping out in the city center. What we're doing is we're looking after the neighborhood we have here. We have the flooding, our garden flooded. Uh, we have liquefaction, which is when the ground comes up into a well, spreads right through the through the garden. I have about a foot of silt covering my garden, and it's not a small garden. Uh, going through there, right past our side door, right onto the road, and we've been digging the road this afternoon. And you know what? Tomorrow we'll be doing the same thing. How's your daughter Lucy there? We see her there in the picture. How is uh, Lucy? If you can hear me, how are you reacting to what happened? This was incredible, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm really shaken up. I'm shaking right now, but I'm all right. I've been getting a lot of sleep, so yeah. Yeah. I know all my friends are all, all okay, but they're quite sh shaken up. All my friends were crying when it, after it happened. I can imagine. There's lots and lots of tears. Mm. We're good. actually sleeping on the floor next to our beds. I am, and I'm sleeping in the lounge. Um, uh, between two two uh, sofas because uh, we know that if, if something like this happens, if the roof collapsed, and it's a reasonable possibility that um, there is a, what they call the triangle of life, we were sort of very aware of since the last earthquake. And so that's why we're sleeping like that. Lucy here is sleeping on a sofa, on, on a, a mattress beside her bed uh, for the same reasons. Um, and that's really what everyone's doing, I think, at the moment. Well, and we are, we're talking to you now, and we're talking about how lucky you and your family are, but of course, you're not taking anything for granted as far as being out of the woods, because uh, there could be uh, aftershocks to come, and I know that you're very much on pins and needles right now. Yes, we, we, we are. And the, the aftershocks are quite something. Are, are, are really, there's been two or three in the last five minutes, and they are quite serious. I mean, you wouldn't be able to stick a, put a, a, a glass up on a table <laughs> while they're coming around. It's, you certainly not, it's, it's quite something. They're, very, they're closely, close together. Normally, they'd be 10, 15 minutes apart from the previous one. We're almost all experts in earthquakes here now in Christchurch, um, but this one's got us all. Well, wow. Lachlan McNeil, daughter Lucy, thank you so much for talking to us live via Skype at this time. I know that this is really an enormously stressful time for you and certainly for your community. Thank you very much for your time and good luck. No problem at all. Okay, good luck. All right. Bye-bye. Lachlan McNeil and his daughter Lucy live via Skype from Christchurch, New Zealand, where they had the 6.3 earthquake, which has caused devastation there, especially in the center of town. Jessica? Yes, an incredible account there. Thanks so much.